As it pertains to Alan and Everton, yes, a good signing for Everton and, and a good get and I, and I think a, a player that will become an important piece for them. But I, I just think it's another attempt of Everton in trying to become relevant. Uh, as we speak about Everton right now, they're the definition of a mid-table team and they're trying to take a step in the correct direction. They're trying to trend in the correct direction. But they're playing catch-up against teams that, quite frankly, well, not only are they ahead of them in terms of player talent, but they're also ahead of them in terms of their money available and, uh, and their ability to really, because of their names and because of their history, to bring in players. So, yes, a good, a good get for them and a good player that is going to be useful for them, but I don't know that they achieve a whole lot more than they achieved this season in the Premier League. Jack, they're looking to go for someone like James Rodriguez as well. This report's been doing the rounds over the last few days. Obviously trying to build some sort of momentum here under Ancelotti. Yeah, but even with that momentum, the question remains exactly how, how far does it take Everton? How much closer to that top four if you have to feel if this is the kind of money they're spending, if they are bringing in players like James Rodriguez, that's got to be the aim. I, I just don't see um, Everton being that, that club, certainly not right now. They're playing too much a, a, of a game of catch-up with, with, with the top four. Um, so I, I, I won't go so far to say this just makes them relevant, as, as, as Ali put it. But I, I, don't see how, uh, I don't see how James Rodriguez advances anything in terms of his career or rediscovering it in a club like Everton who, who won't be competing for, for England's higher, higher honours. Uh, meanwhile, a story that's kind of been lost amongst all of the messy reports is, of course, that Luis Suarez leaving Catalonia, his destination, plenty of clubs linked to him, including Atletico and Juventus. Ali, we talked about this last week. Mentally, he'll think, definitely, I can still play at the very highest level. Can he at clubs like those? Well, let me take Juventus first and the case for Juventus in trying to chase after Luis Suarez. There is no case. This is essentially a sidestep from Higuain to Luis Suarez, and I don't think that you achieve much there. Although Luis Suarez at his best can still score goals with some consistency, the problem is injuries. And now there is a history of injuries. And so why go chase yet another 33-something-year-old, uh, a guy that has struggled staying on the field over the last couple of seasons? It doesn't quite make sense from Juventus' perspective and go spend a whole lot of money to bring a guy that it really is kind of a, an Higuain. Mm. You, you just had that issue. You didn't really deal with it with Higuain being there. And now you're going to bring yet another guy that is going to have some of the same problems, uh, an aging superstar and a guy that, yes, can score goals, but will also create some issues for you if he's not on the field. And that's a decision that then uh, you're going to have Pirlo making in terms of what the rotation is going to be. I don't think that that's the direction that Juventus should go into. As for Atletico Madrid, I think that's a different story because now you bring in an element, an emotional element for Luis Suarez in saying, you know what, there's a certain motivation to stay in La Liga and to prove that I can still score goals at this level. And mind you, no team plays more with a chip on their shoulder than a Diego Simeone team. So the, the matchup of Diego Simeone, Luis Suarez, Atletico Madrid, a chip on their shoulder, Barcelona, the resentment, all of those things come together and make a whole lot of sense for Atletico Madrid and it makes a whole lot of sense for Luis Suarez as well. I'm not as convinced, particularly around Atletico Madrid. Just given the style that we've seen from, from Atleti over the years, given what we know of, of Diego Simeone and what he'll expect out of his players, I'm not sure that Luis Suarez is, is, is that player. Emotionally, yes, but I'm not sure he's the one to go chasing back. Uh, he's, not, he's the one to do the kind of work that will be expected of him. As far as Juventus goes, as, as good a job as Juventus have done with bringing players in who may be surplus to other big clubs' requirements and, and making successes of them, it's, it's a position here. And whereas Ronaldo doesn't fall into that previous category, you put Luis Suarez alongside an aging Cristiano Ronaldo. Again, given the fact that I don't think you get the kind of work rate out of Luis Suarez that you would want or expect or playing alongside Ronaldo would need, it just, it, that too does not make any kind of sense to me. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.